Hi friends and welcome. I just decluttered over 500 items in the past 30 days, which is so crazy. And so today I want to take you along and share exactly how I got rid of that much stuff, show you everything that I decluttered, as well as a few surprising lessons that I learned from the experience. So let's start off with how I went about this massive declutter. So over the course of the past month, I did the 30 day minimalism game decluttering challenge, but I did it with a bit of a twist. The way that the traditional minimalism game works is on day one of the month or the first day that you start the challenge, you declutter one item. On day two, you get rid of two things. On day three, three items and so on. And by the time you reach day 30, you'll have decluttered about 500 items. I've done it that way before and on one hand, it can be a great way to build up momentum as you progress through each day of the month. However, what I found is that it can be really difficult, not to mention time consuming, towards the end of the month when you need to find 20 plus items every single day to let go of. So in entering this challenge, I knew that I wanted to do a major declutter of my home, but also that I wanted to do it in a more sustainable and flexible way. So this time around, instead of going about it linearly, I still did all 30 days of the challenge, but I just went about it in whatever order best suited the time I had available in a given day and the space that I was wanting to go through, checking off each day as I went. I have to say, I really feel found it to be the perfect solution where by checking off each day as I went, I still got that feeling of accomplishment and momentum, but it worked infinitely better with my schedule. So that's how the challenge and the little twist I did works. And I love that it makes the decluttering process so much more fun and manageable while still providing you with some accountability, especially if you challenge a friend or family member to do it with you. And the best part is too, it really works. I decluttered over 500 items this month and it feels amazing. So now let's get into it. I want to show you every single item that I decluttered in the past 30 days. But be sure to stick around until the end too when I'll be sharing some of the major takeaways that I had from the experience. Well, it is officially day one of the challenge. I want to begin with going through, cleaning out, and decluttering our fridge. This is a space that should be pretty easy to go through, but I feel like, especially after the holidays, could definitely use it. So what I want to do now is to go through, to clean everything out, just to get rid of anything that's expired, that we're not going to use, and also to condense what we can, because I'm pretty sure we have some duplicates as well. Well, it's amazing what a bit of love and attention can do to a space. Take a look at how much better our fridge looks now. Everything is so much cleaner, more organized. We've decluttered so much. I feel like I have a new fridge. And then for the important part, here's everything that we'll be letting go of. For the most part, these are all products that are either empty or expired. In some cases, they've been expired for several years. So I'm very excited to be getting those out of our fridge. Obviously they were just taking up space completely unused. And we have some more recent products too that have just gone bad that we weren't able to use up before they expired. And then this is something that I'm very excited about. We had probably 30 little sauce bottles of Chick-fil-A and we just, you know, we used them, but not that many of them. And they were just taking up a lot of space. And so we were able to throw out a number of them. But then we also condensed a bunch of them too into this old ketchup sauce bottle so that we can use the chick-fil-a sauce without you know all of these tiny little containers taking up space in our kitchen so all said and told if you counted the little chick-fil-a sauce packets we'd be well over 30 items like there may have been just 30 sauce packets alone i think i'm just going to count those all as one item so if we count those as one then we have 28 items that we're going to let go of today so we'll cross off day 28 and that is a strong start to this challenge I'll see you all tomorrow for day two. Well, it is now day two of our decluttering challenge and today figured we could go through our gift supplies. Now that Christmas has passed, it feels like a great time just to go through this bin to get rid of anything that we don't need. So 
So here's everything from day two that I'm wanting to let go of. Probably the biggest category of things is I have one, two, three, four, five, six little different kinds of cards and envelopes that I haven't used for years. Just don't see myself using. I also have a bit of gift wrapping twine, which stuff is just a little bit hard to work with. I have others I prefer. Some beads that I got for a project that I forgot to use and they've been sitting in that box for years. This Bloom Salted Caramel flavor, which I actually love some of Bloom's other flavors. However, this one for whatever reason just wasn't my favorite, so I'd love to pass that on. And then I have some old gift bags that the seal on the sides of them is now kind of busted. I think the glue has just eroded over time. So now whenever you try to put something in them, it like pops open. So completely useless. Not sure why I haven't moved on from those quite a while ago. And then I have just some old gift tags and wire. So not a bad haul for day two of the challenge. I think what I want to do, rather than counting each of the cards and envelopes individually, because that would put us well over 30 items, so I want to count each one of those groups as an item. So we had six sets of cards and envelopes total, so that brings our total to six, plus the other items, I believe, brings our total for today up to 12. So we'll cross off day 12 on our checklist and then I'll see you all tomorrow for day three. So it is day three and today has been our official undecorating Christmas day. Something that I like to do as I'm undecorating every single year, is just to go through everything as I'm putting it away, see if there's anything that we want to declutter, to let go of, and I found a number of things. So there are a few kind of larger pieces of decor that I'm wanting to let go of. Some of it is broken, some of it, I just haven't been using, or in the case of this guy, I've used it, but I feel like I just don't love it. This is meant to be like a super minimalist looking wood Christmas tree, but I feel like it just, to me at least, reads as a cone. So going to be letting go of that. And then we have a whole bunch of ornaments that I'm wanting to get rid of. These are all things that Honestly, we've collected over the years, but don't have any sentimental attachment to. And as I was looking at our Christmas tree this year, I loved it, but it did feel like we had a lot of ornaments, a lot of which didn't really go together. So I'm going to be letting go of just a handful of the random ornaments that I picked off of the tree that yeah, just weren't my favorite. So I think in total we have what, three larger items, and then I think it's 23 ornaments or things that I've been using as ornaments that we're going to be letting go of. So we're going to be crossing off day 26 today, which is exciting because that's a big one. So it is day four, and as you can probably tell, I'm going through our little games area down here to see if there's any board games or puzzles that we're wanting to part with. really pleased with the results of going through our game cabinet. I was able to condense our four boxes of Catan and the Seafarers expansion down to just two. So I was able to put both of the five and six player expansion boxes into the original games. So that takes up a lot less space. We'll let go of those boxes. I also found a Catan bumper sticker that will be decluttering. And then as I was going through our games, I realized that we had five decks of playing cards, which feels a little bit excessive to me. So I decided to let go of two of them. I know there are some games that we play where you do need multiple decks of cards, but I'm pretty sure we don't need five. So we'll go ahead and get rid of two of those. Also going to be letting go of two puzzles that I've just done so many times that at this point I'm kind of like, tired of them and I think it would be best just to pass them on to a new home. They are beautiful puzzles, but yeah, I'm just not sure that I'll actually end up doing them going forward. So rather than them just sitting in here collecting dust, I'd rather them go to a new home. So that is everything that I'm pretty sure that we're going to be decluttering. Anytime we're dealing with anything related to games though, I always try to make sure that I'm getting the okay from Christopher. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. And then there are two games, which personally I think we should declutter, 
but this is especially where I need the approval from Christopher. And that is Texas Hold'em poker and glass checkers and chess. Personally, neither of those is games that I particularly enjoy. Christopher does like playing poker, but I feel like he's more the kind of person who goes over to someone's house to play poker rather than plans it himself. So I don't really feel like he needs to own the game, but I don't know. I want to run it by him, of course. And then checkers and chess. We've owned that game for a couple of years now, or I guess those games for a couple of years. I don't think think I've ever seen Christopher play them. So I know that I haven't. I feel like it would be okay to let go of them, but either way, we're going to have either seven or nine items that we're decluttering today. So depending on which one Christopher goes with, I'll go ahead and put the number below here. But yeah, pretty pleased with that. We do love us some board games, as you could tell from our collection. But it does feel good just to pare it down a bit and make sure that the games that we have in here are all things that we're actively loving and using. So it is day five and it's a busy day for me. I'm in need of a quick and easy win. So today we're going to be decluttering something that has been sitting in our garage for so, so long now. It is these, I think it's like somewhere between 40 and 50 wood boards that Christopher got for a project that he was working on, but ended up realizing wouldn't work out. So we are going to try to give these away to hopefully a friend to use for firewood or something. We're gonna get them out of our garage and clutter them. So today I'm going to be counting this as day 30 since there's well over 30 boards here. Oh, and uh, before you ask, yes, I am outfit repeating from yesterday. It's too comfy not to. So it is day six and today I want to go through all of our paints and brushes. We have quite a collection of acrylic paints as well as a number of brushes. We've had all of these for many years. So I want to test to make sure all the paints are still in usable condition. Same thing with the brushes. I have a feeling there's definitely going to be a number of items that we can move on from. Here's our little decluttering haul. I found a number of paints that were either basically empty, congealed, or something about them when I tested them out was just off texture-wise. So we'll be moving on from those. Also found a very frayed paintbrush that just is not really usable at this point. So we'll be tossing that. And I found two things of Mod Podge that we had that were duplicates of something that we already owned. They are both unopened, so you can tell we haven't been using them. I think I'm just going to try passing those on to someone who can use and get value from them. And the last thing that we'll be letting go of is this little travel watercolor paint set. My other watercolor set is fairly portable. I just tend to reach for that more. So I'll try passing that on to someone who can use it. So all said and told, we have 18 paints, then the Mod Podge paint brushes and the watercolor set. So I think that brings us to 22 items total. So let's check off day 22. So it is now day seven and we're gonna keep things simple today. This is the room that will be our future nursery. And so to make space for that, going to be letting go of this mattress, the bed frame, and then also I have a random crib sheet that was given to me and we're having a little boy. I feel like this is just a little feminine. So I'm probably gonna try passing that on. So checking off day three today, not letting go of too much, they are big things. Well, it is day eight and today we're tackling the bathroom cabinets. And specifically, I'm looking for anything that I don't need, don't use, or that I have duplicates of and can condense. So you came away with a good sized haul for this room. Let me flip you around and I'll show you. So I found three nail polishes that I'm just not using, several very used nail files that really just don't do their job at this point because I've used them so much. A couple products that I tried that just didn't work for me, one that's empty. And then I have a very worn out exfoliating glove. And then a couple random like caps, funnels, 
and just like random paraphernalia. All said and told, we've got 15 items here so we can check off day 15. So it is day nine today and the weather is just so incredibly nasty out. We've had a massive storm roll in not feeling a ton of motivation. So I figured we'd go with an easy one and just spend some time going through the contents of my purses and bags, see if there's anything that we can get rid of. So I just went through everything and I found a whole bunch of stuff that didn't fall long. So I'm going to be putting all of that away, but here's our little pile of what we'll be letting go of. So easily the biggest category, there was a lot of trash, lots of empty wrappers, receipts, and all of that. So I'm just going to be counting that as one item. Found a couple of hair ties that just don't work with my shorter hair. It's just not enough hair to put up these days. And then there were a number of empty products. So hand sanitizer, tied to go pen, lip balm, face mist. Also, I found a random empty cap. And then, yeah, there was a car air freshener little thing that no longer has a scent. And then I found a couple little perfume sprays as well. And I believe Christopher actually nixed these a while back because he wasn't a huge fan of the scent. So I'll get rid of those as well. I believe counting the trash is just one item that comes to 13 items. So let's check off day 13. It's day 10 today and our project for the day is to declutter and organize the pantry. found quite a lot in there. Let me kind of give you a tour of some of the main groups of items I found. So I'd say the majority of what we came across was foods that we just had too much of or I didn't see us using. There was also a number of duplicate or triplicate products that we had. So I was able to condense a number of those and we can recycle or toss the extra containers. And we also had quite a few things that were expired or very stale at this point, well past their expiration date. So we'll be moving on from those. And then the last thing, just had a number of plastic grocery bags that I want to bring to the recycling center. So all said and told, that brings our total to 20 items for the day. It's a pretty good sized haul. So it is day 11, going to keep today simple. We have two complete sets of the Chronicles of Narnia series. Rather than hold on to duplicates, going to be letting go of one. So we've got seven books in total here, going to be decluttering seven items today. So it is day 12 today. Right now I want to tackle the kitchen. So I went through our space and I found honestly a surprising number of things that I'm ready to move on from. We've got some products that are empty, some teas that aren't pregnancy friendly, a mug that I've had for years and I really like, but I just have too many mugs. So need to reduce the collection a bit. Travel mug, which doesn't fit in cup holders and always spills and makes a mess. Just ready to move on from it. Couple other kitchen items that are in some cases extremely worn. These tea light candles, just the scent of them, doesn't really sit well with me, which is why I never really used them. And yeah, just a handful of other miscellaneous items. Altogether, this comes to 17 items, so we'll check off day 17. So today is day 13. We're gonna keep things simple and straightforward today. I have 15 different nursery pots and plant containers. They've just been sitting here in my garage doing nothing. So today we're decluttering them. So it is day 14 and this is super random, but I've had two bowls of literally like greenery sitting on this desk for close to two months now, which is crazy. So today we will be properly disposing of these. I'm going to count this as day two, finally taking care of these. Well, welcome to my very messy closet. I'll probably be tackling this space for a few days here. Today, it technically should be day 16. However, I was feeling not the greatest yesterday. Just had some pregnancy symptoms acting up, so I didn't end up doing any decluttering. So today, we're gonna play a bit of catch up and do two days worth of decluttering and tackle both days 15 and day 16. And actually, just looking at the very top of this cube shelf, 
already know what I want to declutter for day 15. So for the first half of our two-part decluttering day, I found 11 of these little glass jars with bamboo lids. I initially purchased these for a project that I just ended up deciding to go a different direction with. I've been sitting in my closet ever since, so going to try passing these guys on to a good home. I feel like somebody in my buy nothing group is going to love them. And then going along with that, I found 18 sheets of little label paper that has all kinds of different spice labels and whatnot on that. So between the 11 jars, the 18 label sheets, we have 29 items. So for day 15, we're checking off day 29. Then for day 16, let's see what else we can find in here. All right, so for day 16, I found a bunch of miscellaneous items like an old pillow, some greenery and faux stems, some paint that's dried up, a couple of books that I just don't plan on rereading, some film that is expired, SD cards that I just don't need anymore, some trash, and I'll just be counting all the trash as one item again, an old tripod, glass screen protector for a phone, uh, let's see here, a keychain, just lots of random things. So in total, it comes to 21 items. So for day 16, we'll be checking off day 21. So for our double day, we got rid of 29 things and 21 things. So. Honestly, there's probably more that I could stand to declutter in this closet. I'll probably revisit it again later in the challenge, but I'm feeling pretty good with having decluttered however many items that is, what's that, 50 items from this closet. Honestly, like that's a good start to clearing out this closet. There is still a fair bit more decluttering and organization that I need to do in this closet. We'll get there, but I'm going to save that for another day. Well, it is day 17. Today, I want to continue working my way through the office. Today, we're tackling the bookshelf. Well, that was productive for day 17 we're going to be letting go of 19 books and these are all books that either i finished and don't see myself rereading or that i started and don't see myself finishing so we're gonna find them some new homes well it is day 18 now and as you can tell i spent a lot of time going through this closet yesterday if you want to see everything that i got up to i will go ahead and link to the video above but I did find one item in here that I want to let go of. Now, to be fair, a lot of what was in that closet, I just ended up moving to other rooms in the house where it made more sense for them to belong long-term since this room will be the nursery. So I probably will end up going through a lot of those things on future days of the challenge. But as I was going through it, I did come across one large thing that I want to let go of, and that is this DJI Ronin S gimbal. This is one of those things that I bought thinking it would be a really useful piece of equipment that would help me to just more creatively be able to film videos. However, I haven't used it all that often. Definitely not enough to really justify keeping it. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell it because yeah, I'd rather recoup some of the investment that I put into it then it collect dust in a closet somewhere. So going to count this as day one today, just a cluttering one thing, but yeah, it's a pretty big thing. For day 19, I went through even more of our art supplies. We have quite a number of them. Christopher and I both really enjoy just expressing ourselves creatively through different art mediums. Probably the biggest category here that I found that I want to declutter though is some old art projects. So these are, I think this was acrylic. A lot of these are watercolor paintings. I like to keep kind of my favorites, the best ones that I've done. But then I do kind of try to move on from some of the ones that I just don't love as much. That way it kind of helps keep things a bit more minimal. Also going to be letting go of a couple embroidery projects and a, I think this is an acrylic painting. 
probably going to try giving some of these like to someone who will appreciate them because I think some of them at least are quite nice. I just don't feel the need to keep tons and tons of them. Then I am also going to be getting rid of a bunch of just like fabric scraps, things from old projects, floral tape I don't need, I had a duplicate glue gun, some oil paints. We have some much more quality ones, so I'd just rather use those. And then a little box. So all sudden and cold, that comes to 24 items. So for day, I think it's 19, chicken off 24. So it is day 20 and today I found a number of old film photos I took a while back and of course I wanted to save some of them. However, I did find 14 of them that I was totally fine with parting from. So today going to be decluttering 14 pictures. So it is day 21 and today I want to spend some time going around our house and identifying some of the items that we have duplicates or even more of and to spend some time either combining products that we can get rid of some of the extra packaging or just getting rid of altogether the duplicates we don't need. So let's take a look at the bathroom, the pantry, some other areas and see what we find. So I just went through our bathroom, our entryway, and our pantry and found quite a few items that we were able to condense or just other miscellaneous things that I'm wanting to let go of. So in the bathroom, I found a whole bunch of different products that were either empty or that I had duplicates of, was able to condense down. Also found a goopy nail polish, a couple beauty tools I had duplicates of. Then in the pantry, again, we had multiples of a lot of things. It felt really good to condense some of this down and made it so that I had just a lot less kind of like miscellaneous packaging floating around our pantry. Per usual, I found a pile of trash and so we're going to count that as one item. Then I found a couple chapsticks and little travel size perfume bottles that just wasn't huge on the scent of. A couple of these little like plant sticky things. I just had so many of these. I'm gonna try passing some of these on to someone else because I just don't need as many as I have. And that's our haul for the day. So lots of little things today, but they're all little things that were causing clutter. So it feels really good to be able to simplify my space in this way. All said and told though, it comes to 27 items. So let's check off day 27. All right, well for day 22, I want to spend a bit of time going through my closet. I did do this fairly recently, so I don't expect to find a ton. However, I do feel like there might be a handful of items especially when it comes to undergarments, like socks, underwear, all of that, that it's just time for us to part with. So I found just a handful of things. I've got three items of clothing that I just don't see myself wearing going forward. Six pairs of socks that are either stretched out, worn out, or have holes in them. In some cases, multiple of those are true of a single pair of socks. Also, I found a random hanger that does not match any of the other hangers that we own. Not sure how that got into our house, but definitely letting go of that. And then I have a little scent packet that you're supposed to put in with your undergarments, but I've owned it for several years now. It no longer really has a scent. So in total, that comes to 11 items. Let's check off day 11. So day 23 and today is going to be another one of those days where number wise, we might not be decluttering a whole lot. However, the items we're letting go of are big ones. Right now I'm in the midst of planning a major living room refresh. We've had the same furniture in here or about the same for almost five years now, which is crazy. Like a lot of these pieces we've had since before we moved into this house. So today we are letting go of this armchair here, the rug here, which honestly has seen better days. It has lots of stains on it that I cannot get out. This couch here this chair and then Christopher decided to let go of his PS4 and the extra remote control that he has that goes with it. So just six items today, but Facebook Marketplace I'm coming after you. It's gonna be some big items on there real soon. So here in the kitchen, because for day 24, I want to go through our utility drawer, see if we can find anything in there.
So just finished going through everything and I found 16 pens and pencils, four old packets of flower food, an empty tied to go pen, a very used nail file, a couple of command hooks, lens cloth, and some trash. Technically that comes to 26 items, but just like we count the trash as one item, I think we can get away with counting the command hooks as one item too. So let's check off day 25 of the challenge. Well, we have made it to day 25, and today I want to spend some time going through our memories chest. Obviously, with a baby on the way, I'd imagine that there's going to be a lot that we want to add to it in the near future. So it feels like a good time to go through it and just see if there's anything that we're ready to move on from. All right, so I found a number of things that I'm ready to move on from, although I should probably go through this box again with Christopher at some point so that he can go through his sort of things as well. But on my side of things, we found nine pictures that I just am, don't really need anymore. Like they were sentimental at one point, they just aren't as sentimental now, or as in the case of a couple of the engagement pictures Christopher and I have printed out, they're very grainy and I have higher quality versions of them that I would rather get printed and keep. Also found, this is random, a bunch of adapters. There's five of them here for different countries in Europe. However, Christopher and I this year got a couple of universal adapters, which are just a lot more convenient. We'll be using those going forward, so try passing those on. I have an empty silver frame as well. And then a couple of like larger sentimental things that have a lot of like signatures and notes from friends. And these are like memories from different times in my life. I think what I want to do, because they're quite large to store, is I want to take beautiful pictures of them, save them somewhere so that I still have that memory, but we don't have like these large things to hold on to. Now all of this comes to 18 items. So let's check off day 18. Not too many left. Well, it is day 26 and today I want to go through our hosting and cleaning supplies. So just finished up and was able to find a number of things. On the cleaning side of things, we have an empty bottle and then a duplicate toothbrush that we use for cleaning. We had a couple, so I figured we could get rid of one. Found a few hosting supplies too. I think there are three of these snowman plates left from a party. Just don't have a use for only three plates. A couple broken spoons. And then I had some to-go cups, but I had way more of the sleeves and lids than I needed. So we'll be letting go of the extras of each of those. And then a couple little fairy light things. So all together, again, we'll count all of these duplicates as one item because that just makes sense to me, comes to eight items. So I'll check off day eight and we are really getting to the final few things here. So we are on to day, I think 27 of the challenge. Last night, Christopher asked me to help him go through his side of the closet. We ended up finding a whole bunch of items that either no longer fit him, that have shrunk, that he's owned literally since middle school, along with some hangers that just don't match the rest of ours, and then some other pieces of clothing that are either stretched out or worn out. Now all that came to 21 items, so I ended up doing an extra little digging around on my side of the closet, found a couple more items that I was wanting to let go of just kind of looking a bit more closely than I did the other day and so that brought our total up to 23 items so today we're able to check off the last big day of our challenge it's all downhill from here day 28 and today I found just some random miscellaneous things kind of scattered around our home right here we've got an old pillow which we used to use when we had guests in town but we just have more pillows than we need right now an old keyboard stand that doesn't actually even fit Christopher's current keyboard. I think that this went with his old keyboard. He sold that keyboard and I think forgot to sell the stand. So going to get rid of that. 
And then we have two microfiber cloths here that I think Christopher used to use for his disc golf, but they're pretty worn out and also don't work that well. Pretty random items for sure, but we can check off day four. So it is day 29 and it's actually gorgeous out. So I figured today we could spend just a bit more time going through our garage. The main thing that I want to spend some time going through is this little cart right here that stores all of my gardening supplies. So we've got this cart looking a whole lot better and along the way found a number of things to declutter. So we've got six different plant pots here that are either in sizes or colors that I just don't find myself reaching for very often. One saucer, which goes with this pot. A tray that, again, I thought I would use more but I just haven't really, so we'll pass that on some distilled water that I got back when I had some finicky plants that required distilled water. Of course, they've since died on me, but I've held onto this water, so I'll just use this to water some plants or something. And then a bunch of manuals that I just, I feel like you can always find the contents of manuals online these days. So that comes to 10 items and we only have one day left of this challenge. Also, in case you're wondering, yes, I am planning a major garage organization session soon hopefully after we finish this challenge. Well, it is day 30 and we have made it to the final day of our challenge, which is just so crazy. Today, we only need to declutter five items. To do that, I want to spend some time going through our entryway closet. Well, our entryway closet is now looking a lot tidier, a lot neater, and I was able to find a number of things that I'm wanting to let go of. The first of which is this stretched out beanie, which is too big now for either Christopher or I's head. We've just owned it that long. Also have a couple of gloves that have seen better days. Christopher and I both got new gloves for Christmas, so I think we can safely pass these on. This pair especially are pretty nasty at this point. Then I have a pair of boots, which ugh, I debated with these because I think they're beautiful, but I think I'm more of a black boot or a brown boot person. And I think because of the color, I just don't end up wearing these that often. So I'd rather pass them on to somebody who will use and love them. And then I have a couple of jackets as well. The one I'm sure I'm letting go of is this one right here. It's a rain jacket. And I just realized I had multiple rain jackets and don't really need more than one. So this one, I love the color of, but the quality probably isn't as good as my other. So we'll pass that one on. And then the sixth potential item that we'll be decluttering is this guy right here. It's a jacket that I've just never seen Christopher wear. So we have five, maybe six items today. That's going to check off the last day of our challenge. We did it. All right, well, that's everything that we decluttered in the past 30 days. Some of our items were bigger, others a bit smaller, but I have to say each one, as I let go of them, really contributed to just a renewed sense of enjoyment and of peace in my space. That's a feeling that I know will only multiply to as I continue getting those items out of my home, but we'll save talking about that for the next video. But overall, I have to say the past 30 days have been challenging yes no doubt about it challenging in a good way though they've also been so rewarding too and i feel like there's a lot of lessons that i've learned along the way i think one big takeaway for me is just not to be afraid to revisit a space Several times throughout this challenge, I did a second or even a third pass of an area of my home that I'd already gone through, and each time, I ended up finding more to declutter. I think when it comes to decluttering, time really helps give us perspective. And so sometimes, just by coming back to or narrowing in on, say, not just the kitchen, but hosting supplies, you can really see and identify a lot more than you did the first time. 
I think often when decluttering, my tendency is just to do a quick pass and then to be done with it. But I really discovered through this challenge that there is a lot of value and a lot of perspective that comes with visiting and revisiting a space. Then another big thing for me was just the power of getting everyone in on it. This is a challenge that I started off wanting to do myself, but it was really cool as I kind of got further into the challenge, I began noticing my husband, Christopher, really initiating or even asking for my help with decluttering specific areas. Whether that was his closet, his office, the garage, there were a handful of areas. What I found was as we made the decluttering process more of a joint effort, it made it all feel easier and we were able to declutter more. So it was really rewarding and I also love that it made it so that no one person in our household was making executive decisions about what we were going to keep versus what we were going to let go of and it made it so that we were able to participate in the process together. So if you have a spouse, family, roommates, whatever, highly recommend getting everyone in on the process and I feel like you just enjoy the experience more and get more out of it too. But then the final big takeaway for me was to look for the hidden spots. If you've been around for a while, you've probably noticed that I really enjoy doing large scale declutters of my home just every so often. But typically when I do those, I'm just hitting kind of the main problem spots, whether that's my kitchen, the closet, our entryway, kind of the things that are top of mind. And what I realized as I went through this challenge is that in doing that, I often miss the opportunity to go a layer deeper. So what I really loved about this challenge is because it took place over a longer time frame, like I wasn't just trying to declutter everything in a day, it really gave me the time and the space that I needed to kind of find some of those hidden spots or smaller areas that I often completely pass over. And it turns out there was a lot of clutter hiding in those spaces. That's something that I really want to keep in mind as I do routine declutters going forward is not just to look in the obvious spots, but to find the hidden places, the little nooks and crannies where clutter tends to accumulate. So those are some of my main takeaways from this challenge, but I have to say too, just overall, every single time I declutter, I'm always just so struck by the renewed sense of intentionality and peace that it brings to my space. If that's something you want to create in your own life, I'm going to leave all the instructions on how to play the 30 day minimalism game and the twists that I shared, as well as a little free decluttering challenge checklist that I put together for you in the description box below, along with a few other really helpful resources to kind of guide you in your journey. But that is everything I have for you today. So as always friends, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.